For the White House, Christmas 1968 meant nostalgia, hope, thankfulness. It was President Johnson's last Christmas in this house. Although Mr. Johnson, like much of the nation, suffered about with the flu, he was home from the hospital in time for the presents to be opened. All his family, except his two sons-in-law, were gathered about him. This year, more so than in the recent past, was ending on a note of hope. By Christmas, the astronauts were heading safely homeward. North Korea had finally freed the crew members of the Pueblo. All contingents of the Vietnam conflict had gathered in Paris, and the nation prospered as never before. President Johnson shared the satisfaction of all Americans in these blessings. But as always, his thoughts were on those who were far from home, standing vigil on the freedoms we cherish, as he put it in his Christmas message to servicemen around the world. This Christmas, the world is brightened with the hope of peace. When it comes, when hope turns to substance and the guns are quiet once again, it will come because you have pursued it with your courage and your skill. It will come because you have won it with a steadfast spirit that adds new luster to the honored tradition of American arms. This will be my last Christmas message to you as your commander in chief. But I will remember you all the days of my life as the patriots who manned the watchtower in a time of peril so that all of us might live as free men, as one who is proud to have served with you, I salute you. And I pray that God will keep watch over all of you and unite you soon with your families and your loved ones.